Matthew. So the fire this time is an electronic spoken word album with artists like Orbital. Oh wow, Orbital Apex Twin. Seriously, Orbital. I used to listen to fucking a lot, a lot. I have or Orbital CDs. Orbital Apex Twin that uses sampling and a narrator to tell the story of the U.S. invasion of Iraq. Amazing, amazing. What? I don't know if I've heard this, man. Orbital. I was so hard. I loved Orbital. Orbital was so cool, gang. Just put aside where electronic music is now. Go back to Orbital. Put yourself in the mindset of the 1990s and go, wow, right? And Matthew, by the way, if you're not on Gilded, join our Gilded server if you're into it, if you, if you want to join it. Link it up in like topics under music. Link it up for us. And I'll definitely listen to that. Hell yeah. And Apex Twins. Hell yeah. I didn't go off on Apex Twins too much. I, I, you know, I would hear from friends and stuff like this and parties we would go to. But Orbital is one that I was, I would loop. Sometimes loop Orbital all night. All night. Right? I gotta listen to Orbital again. I haven't listened to him for so long. BJ, you should watch Phantasm from 1979. It's a dream like horror film with Dune ref. Uh, man, I swear I've seen the movie. Uh, Phantasm. Phantasm. I, I, I've seen it. I just can't place it. I know it. I know it. BJ, ever listen to Manila Road? I can't remember the name. I'm bad with names. I don't remember names. And Cheryl says, oh man, Orbital makes me feel a little old. No, not me. It makes me feel young. <laughs> I don't I don't time, what do you call it? Time yourself? Or what, what, what's that saying goes? Uh, electric Railway, Apex Twins is unbelievable. Indeed, indeed, indeed. I just, man, Cheryl, we were listening to that shit when it was coming out, right? Like, just imagine listening to Beethoven while he was coming out with new new symphonies new tracks like on the forefront of electronic even though electronic been around for a long time but a huge wave of revolutionary electronic music what a time to be alive fucking a going to a going to parties and in the forest or underground basements and whatnot and like Wow, right? Haha, <laughs> Plutonic Pura says, Cheryl, you're not old, you're a good wine. Great wine, great wine. Salute, gang, salute. Let's have a little sip of um, electrolytes. Matthew oh yeah I'll be sure to link sure to link it up there's a song on there called nails on the wall which is which in harrowing and incredible difficult to listen to song retelling the uh, retelling to retelling the Amirihaya shelter bombing I gotta look into that I gotta look into that Cheryl, I know, but the only way I could have sounded o o older was if you said we listened to it live in the late 1990s. <laughs> I never made it to Orbital Live. I never made it to Orbital Live. So I must still be young. <laughs> Cheryl, I have earned and enjoyed every damn gray on my hair. Indeed, indeed, indeed. That's a life well lived, right? And gang, on that note, on that note, Yet. Blue rice, a lot of ice actually. I got a lot of stuff on the table here. Favorite retro game console? Uh, Sega Genesis and Nintendo. Uh, 64 and 64 no doubt no doubt Sega Genesis 
Herzog, Zagui, whatever, the first, uh, you know, fighting game where you're fighting against someone, you're building things, I forget what they're called. Nothing like it. Gang, to Julian Assange. Free Assange, Free Assange, Free Assange. Julian Assange, publisher and journalist that has been crucified for trying to bring transparency and accountability of capitalist power to humanity, to me and you, to humanity, to us, to our societies, to future generations, right? For more information, see wikidix.org, candlesforassange.com, or countless resources on free speech platforms. To Julian Gang.